Hey guys, Internet Dude here. And uh, I just received this Quick 220 Systems power supply that I bought. And uh, I just wanted to go over it real quick here with you. Uh, there's going to be cases like, you know, I live in Saskatchewan, so there's actually no plans for superchargers currently anywhere in the province. And, you know, it's not just, you know, cases like I have, but you might find situations where you know, you might be charging in a relative's house on a weekend or overnight and you want to charge a little faster than a regular 110 outlet. What this device does is it lets you combine two regular 110 outlets, or you know, 110 or 120 volt outlets, and uh, it combines them into 220 or, you know, up to 240 volts. So basically the, the device consists of this, this box, uh, there's a cord coming out each side here, and uh, there's a circuit breaker to turn it on. Uh, a little illuminator here that indicates when those two are connected correctly. And I'll get into that in a second. And then there's the, uh, the output. And Tesla makes an adapter. It's called a NEMA 6-15, yeah, which is similar to the NEMA 515, which you know is a regular outlet like this but the blades are different, so this is only compatible with that kind of plug. And this is what this one happens to have. You can actually get this in a couple of different options. I think there's a twist lock and I don't know, maybe there's something else too. I know they have a, a 20 amp version of this where one of these um, blades is, is turned 90 degrees. So this one here is a 15 amp unit and they also make a 20 amp. So basically it comes with the box, a GFCI, and electrical circuit tester or receptacle tester uh, the instructions and then I bought this from Tesla uh, you may also need an extension cord but obviously this just plugs into the standard universal mobile connector so uh, just two things I really need to point out about this system uh, one you can't plug it into any GFCI or ground fault circuit interrupter uh, circuits so Typically on the outside of a house or a hotel or whatever, it would have a GFCI outlet. So you can't plug into those, and that's where the tester comes in. You can test an outlet if you're not sure. Okay, and the second thing to be aware of with the Quick 220 is that when you plug these two uh, power cords in, they need to be plugged in on separate plug-ins that are in uh, different phases of the electrical circuit. So basically what that means is you can't plug these two power cords necessarily into two outlet like any two outlets so you can't go into one room and plug into two outlets you'll probably have to run an extension cord off of one to you know the next room over or whatever so basically you go around and you plug these in to different outlets and when this light lights up you're good to go all right so you should use the tester and just go around and you just plug it in and uh, if these two orange or amber lights are on uh, that means the Receptacles wired correctly, which is good. Um, and then you can press the red button on top. Now in this case, uh, it just gives you a red light and that's just telling me that it's not a GFCI receptacle, which is good. And you see the power is still on on this receptacle. So if this was a GFCI outlet, you'd press the button, it would kill power to this. And that would mean you can't use that outlet. Okay, so I've had the car plugged into just a regular 110 outlet. Well, technically a 120 volt outlet just for comparison and I've had it plugged in for about an hour and so for comparison's sake you can see uh, charges at a rate of six kilometers per hour which is four miles per hour and uh, so you can see 12 amps hundred and just under 120 volts so we'll plug that all in and and check out the difference Okay, well, I uh, just happened to be in my garage, and so I have block heater outlets, which are, you know, 110 outlets. So I have one over there, and then I have the other one just beside my toolbox here. And uh, so I luck out, and it turns out they're both uh, in the opposite or a different phase from the electrical panel. So I plugged in one, there was a light click noise from here. I plugged in the other, and there was a light click noise, and the light came on. So I just turn the breaker on and you just flip it up and then I, I uh, connected that and you can see there's power going down to the car. So let's go see how fast it charges now. 
Okay, I've been charging for a few minutes now, and we can see that it's definitely charging at 240 volts at 12 amps. It's charging at 14 kilometers per hour charge rate, which works out to 8 miles per hour. Interesting, interesting that it goes from 6 to 14, but then in miles per hour it's 4 to 8, so there must be some rounding more rounding going on with the miles per hour. So there you have it. It's definitely charging uh, actually at more than double the rate. Now I have heard there's greater efficiency by charging at 220 or 240 volts versus you know 110, 120. So there you have it. It's, it's definitely more efficient to charge off 220. This is something that you know, you might want to do also if, say, you lived in an apartment and you had limited access to power. This would be another good option for apartment dwellers. Well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and thanks for watching.